Hi, my name is Mark and I teach economics. In this video, we're going to be looking at consumer surplus, producer surplus, and deadweight loss. And we're going to look at how to calculate this. These three ideas are often confused because uh, they seem simple. They're just simply the calculation of triangles, areas of triangles. But then when you have a lot of these triangles, you get a little bit confused. So let's take a look at it. You can see in this photo, we've got a beautiful looks like an industrial um, factory, foundry, scrap metal, very, very apropos. So before we start, let's define some terms. Marginal benefit is the benefit for consuming one additional unit for the consumer. Marginal cost, cost of producing one additional unit for the firm. Consumer surplus is the difference between the highest paid price a consumer is willing to pay for a good or service and the real price the consumer pays. And similarly, the producer surplus is the difference between the lowest price a firm is willing to accept for a good or service and the price it really receives. So in the first diagram, we need to look at what is consumer surplus and what is producer surplus. Very simple, consumer on the top, producer on the bottom. You can make some sort of mnemonic to remember that. I see people confuse even this simple triangle, these two simple triangles, consumer on the top, producer on the bottom. And in this next diagram, we see that it's really, I'm breaking it up into uh, al alphabetical triangles and squares, which we're gonna subsequently calculate. But the main point in this is you've got marginal cost equals marginal benefit at efficient level of output. So this is competitive equilibrium. Supply and demand intersects, intersect where marginal cost equals marginal benefit. That's the main takeaway. And again, in my courses, sometimes the entire semester, I will be just drilling this point home. And it appears on the final. And, you know, people are lost. So you have to know MC equals MB. You just have to make a mnemonic, just drill it in. Consumer surplus, as you can see, is A plus B plus C. It's the top part of the triangle. Producer surplus is D plus E plus F, the bottom portion of the triangle. And this is at a competitive equilibrium price of $3 and the quantity of 20. So how do you calculate this? Let's say consumer surplus at $3, that would be the area of the triangle which is three times 20 equals 60. And since it's a triangle, you know you divide it by two. My triangles could be better, perfectly aligned, but in this case, let's just assume that it's divide by two and it equals 30. So that's the consumer surplus. It's very easy. In this case, let's say that the government imposes a price floor. This is government intervention. It's a distortion of the market, and the market does not rest at an efficient equilibrium. In this case, the consumer surplus is only triangle A. So let's calculate this. Let's say uh, triangle A is at price 3.5, and the triangle goes up to 6. So that's really the 15 quantity times the differential between 6 and 3.5, which is 2.5. You divide by 2, and that gives you a consumer surplus of 18.75. I know this is math. It's a little bit different than my other uh, videos, which are a little bit more entertaining. But I just want to show you how to calculate this, because on exams, you're going to have to know how to calculate consumer surplus. And this is consumer surplus when there's a government price floor. Similarly, when the price is at 15, let's say there's a producer uh, surplus of B and D. That's when you also have a government price floor. This means with a price floor, consumer surplus is smaller and producer surplus is greater than it would be found at competitive equilibrium. Deadweight loss. 
what what does society lose by having these price floors and ceilings let's say it's the area c plus e and it's the same calculations of the triangles that's all you need to know it's just simply calculating the triangles now in a dead weight loss calculation you have two triangles so it's height times width divided by two and then you would simply add triangle c plus e and you'll get the dead weight loss in this case it's 25. i went pretty quick you can slow the video down go back revisit it because you know these types of questions are going to be on your economics exam micro and macro these are fundamental ideas thank you very much don't forget to subscribe like comment and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.